Hello viewers, today we are going to learn how to manipulate in Photoshop and how to provide amazing fantasy look or ancient look in Photoshop. So let's begin our tutorial. This is our model and we are going to take first new document. So click on file and go to new and you can also press ctrl n for new document. Then select the page and make resolution 300. This one is very important. Then click on create. So your document is ready now we are going to our model image so this is our model image and now we are going to select this one by using pen tool you can also use quick selection tool but i'm going with pen tool because this one is my favorite and this selects is so fine and sharp so start your selection just zoom your image by pressing ctrl plus and start your selection When you complete your selection, just zoom out your image by pressing Ctrl minus and press right click and then go to make selection and make feather radiation 0 pixel then press ok. Your model image is selected and make this one in different layer. So what we have to do, just press Ctrl C and V. You can see that your model image is selected. Now we are going to remove these areas that shows background. Again zoom your image and start your selection. When you complete your selection then go to right click and make selection. Make feather edition 0 and press delete key. To remove the background image do the same process with all of these areas so now your image is selected now we are going to arrange our background so first we are going to our main work page this is our blank page and we are adding some images to make our background so first we take suppose for example first we take this C image then select this one by using quick selection tool simply stretch the line and the image is selected and now simply drag and drop this one just hold and drop this one resize your image so the C image is placed now we are going to add rock so i think this one is perfect so again select quick selection tool and simply select this one this one is also selected and do the same process just drag and drop this one or just hold and put in your main image Resize this one and this time we are going to use our masking brush. So just click on your rock image layer and then click on mask layer then again click on mask make foreground color black select brush tool and resize your brush by pressing bracket key and remove this one. And change the little bit color of this rock sorry just select your rock image then go to image and adjustment and select color balance make this one little bit blue and little bit radier then press ok so this one is completed and now we are going to place our model in on rock so this is our model image and simply drag and drop this one and resize your model as per your image and place it in this area. Now we are going to add a sky image behind the model or behind the sea. So where it is the sky image, and 
this one is a sky image besides the size of the sky image and select the layer and put behind the C now this one is look perfect now again go to your C layer and select mask select select the mask layer go to brush and simply do the process resize your brush click in this side and hold shift so you can see that the C is totally match the background with background and now we are going to add some extra image so this one is also a rock image select this one by using quick selection tool because this one is the fast process of selection simply drag and drop this one and resize this image sorry resize this image and again take mask layer or uh, this time you don't need to mask layer because this one is completely matched with C and it's provide amazing look so select your rock image and go to adjustment layer and click color balance click on clipping mask and adjust the color of your stone so this one is perfect so make this one again duplicate so select both of image by holding shift key and right click and select march layer then duplicate this one again and place this one in different area but this time we need to take mask layer go to brush and remove this extra lines now we are going to add more water so this one is water splash and this one is also water splash so i am taking with tracking this one and just simply drag and drop this one and resize the size of my brush uh, resize the size of my water splash image and go to blend mode and select screen image and take again mask brush and resize your brush and this time make opacity it's 50% this perfect and remove the lines of this extra extra lines and again duplicate this one and go to edit and go to trans transform and select clip horizontal and simply drag on this one in that area so click on again mask layer and remove this extra lines this one is looks so bad so we are going to remove this one now we are going to add some extra splash so what you have to do just simply click on your C image then take a blank layer and go to brush tool and this one is your splash brush I'm taking this one so just remove this one and again size and adjust the area of or size of your brush 
and make little bit smaller and simply apply this oh, sorry first select foreground color white then apply this sorry make opacity 100% Just resize this one and apply this area. And go to take mask layer, go to brush, and this time we take soft brush, resize the brush by using bracket key and remove the extra lines. So this one is almost done and now we are going to add little bit shadow so click on behind model image layer and select a new layer go to brush and make this time foreground color black and resize your brush by using bracket key zoom your image to make clear view and simply apply this brush so this one is not so done now this one is perfect and now we are going to remove these lines so take a mask layer and simply remove this one this one is very easy and again we are going to make more shadow so take brush make foreground color black resize this one and this time make opacity very lower just like 12 percent and color this one Now this one is done and now we are going to add little bit light behind this model so what we have to do just to click on and take new layer and brush make foreground color white and resize the brush size and apply this one make opacity 100% and apply this one and set it behind the scene let's look original and again go to your model image zoom your model image go to a smart tool and simply apply this one to provide the hair original look So this one is almost done and now we are going to add some bird image to give amazing fantasy look so this one is done now we're, now we are going to add some bird image so this is our bird image simply drag and drop this one and place behind the model And this one is also a body image and this one plays in that area so this one is done and do the another process this one is just your rock image and duplicate this one and flip this one as a horizontal place behind this rock and click on mask layer go to brush 100% remove this one first and 
This time, my capacity very lower. So your work is almost done. Now we are going to change our model color. So just go to color balance and click on mask layer, clipping mask layer and adjust the color of your model. And again go to take blank layer, edit, fill and select 50% gray then ok then right click click clipping mask set blending mode in overlay and go to dodge tool and add a little bit extra light or make your image more brighter now the work is almost done now we are going to colorize or match the color of complete work so what you have to do just click on adjustment layer go to color balance and balancing the color of your work this one go to again adjustment layer color balance and make this time little bit blower so this one is done and now we are going to give final touch to our work. So what we have to do, just we mask the complete layer by using Shift Control Alt plus E. The complete work is done in one layer. So duplicate this one for backup and go to filter, select camera row. And adjust the color of this one click on FX reduce this one and go to highlighted area so highlighted area make yellow and shadow area make blue then press ok now you can see that your work is completely changed and your color is also looking so good then again go to filter nick collection and select color fx pro so this one b2 this one is perfect match shadow little bit 30 percent and this one make 20% highlighted area increase the highlighted area and then press ok so your work is done almost done and take again gradient and select The darker gradient then press ok then press ok and go to normal and select soft light so your work is done if you like this tutorial please subscribe my channel see you soon with new tutorial goodbye